Chris, just what did you see there in the last couple of minutes down the stretch that I mean, kicked two turnovers away? again. Um, ball got static. You know, um, you know that's on me in the sense that I should have called the timeout uh, uh, to get Mike back in the game in that second to last possession for us or whatever. Um, so I'll take take that one. It's on me. Um, but yeah, just you know, kind of <clears throat> ball got static. Um, just turn it over. I mean, it the same story as the other night. Two turnovers in the guts of the game. Not going to get it done. Uh, what was your thought process in not calling a timeout there? To... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just said I should have called it. So, um, But we, you know, I thought the ball was in Ant, Ant's hands. The differential in the clock wasn't huge. Um, but, you know, um, I initially wanted to, wanted to call it, but, I, you know, I didn't. So. And then with with Luca with the ball in his hands late there, do you think about doubling at that time and get it out, or how do, you know how do you see that unfold? No, the idea was to switch up, press him inside the three point line. So, how do you get Ant back to playing a little bit more of the quick decision basketball that he's been so good with over yeah. the last two months? Yeah, I th he's got to get more in transition. Got to get out. I thought he started the game with a great burst. Um, was really go get, uh, going downhill well, um, and then uh, you know kind of just phased out as the game went along um you know went in there a few times uh um, you know i thought he could have done it more and we need him to do it more so yeah he just has to think some more early uh got to play off the catch a little bit more i thought be a little more shot ready i thought he turned down some open looks too um, you went with nas the final stretch over carl yeah what went into your decision making there obviously nas was playing well yeah carl nas was, was playing well but... real well um and uh, you know, gave us some switchable combinations out there and stuff like that. So, did you tell Carl that at all, or did you just kind of sit him and just no. let it ride at that? No, point? I mean, didn't really have time to have that conversation. You know, so Chris, both uh, Carl and Anthony have have struggled inside mm -hmm. the arc. Ant got a lot more two point looks in this game yeah. than, than the last game. What's what's the key for them? You know effectively getting downhill or being effective yeah. inside the arc? Yeah, I think, you know, with Anthony we just talked about, I think he's got to pick up his decision-making. You know, um, I think Kyrie's a, actually a good example. You know, he's playing quick off the catch. You know, he's trying to beat our defensive pressure with uh, everything on the catch, going quickly. Um, you know, with Cat, I think he's just got to calm down. You know, I think you're coming out of the gate, gate pressing a little bit, um, maybe getting off on the wrong foot and then chasing the game. So he got some good looks. Uh, that didn't go down. I thought for, there was a stretch when you know when they came back into the game, we had a lot of really good looks that didn't go down, um, whether even at the rim or or some open three. So, Coach Mike was a lot more assertive tonight. Yeah, um, looking for his shot out of the pick and roll, got to his floater a bunch. Uh, how do you assess his game and, and the value of that going forward in the series? Yeah, I thought you know Mike played great. Um, really did. I thought he made a lot of really good plays. Um, you know we need him to be aggressive. We, you know especially when our other scorers are struggling a little bit. Um, so. Gafford and Lively are combined, I think, 14 for 16. Yeah. Almost all of them, you know, obviously Luca Lobs or something yeah. akin to that off those sets. What's the counter for that, or what is the way to, to present that from being less efficient? Yeah, I think, you know, again, it uh, starts with keeping the ball out of the paint a little bit better. Um, you know, Rudy's got to be a little more decisive on what he's try, uh, trying to do down there. Um, you know, we got to put a body on that guy, too, so be a little more physical. Did you get a, a chance to look at the replay with 47 seconds left? Obviously, went off McDaniel's. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it, looked, it looked like, like it was, was also contact, fouled, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, um, looked like it was fouled, but um, you know they can't um, or didn't account for that in the uh, call. So, Chris, do you, do you say anything to the team after a loss like this? Or yeah, I mean, as I said, you know, listen, we're, I thought we we're doing a lot of stuff that we talk about doing. Thought uh, game plan execution was a little bit better tonight. Um, you know, we're building leads. Just our offense is letting us down in key moments with turnovers and some missed shots and some uh, – we kind of play ourselves out of rhythm, I think, a little bit at times. Um, you know, the two, two tough games, you know, it's a long, uh, long series and you know, keep our head up. You know, we got, we got, um, we got to get, keep getting better, but, you know, there's a lot of basketball to be played. Chris Moore, Kyle Anderson, uh, in this game, what, what did he do in being able to take Luka – or, and then maybe take one of Jaden or Ant or Nikhil or somebody out, out of that. How did you see him help kind of on, on both sides of the ball, but particularly in, in guarding Luca, Kyle Anderson? Yeah, I think, you know, he's, uh, I mean, Luca's a tough matchup for anybody, but he's got, you know, he's got size. He can move with them, uh, can be enough, have play with enough physicality. 
Uh, it was also great offensively for us. So, and we said in the beginning, we thought this would be a great Kyle series. It's turned out to be really good for us, for him. Um, you know, so. Cat um, obviously struggled a little bit, again, shooting the ball. But he got on the glass and made some extra plays off of offensive rebounds, had a nice dime to um, Rudy, I believe, and then mm -hmm. another one out to a kick out. Uh, how do you assess the way he's playing outside of just his shooting right now? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, he's doing a lot of stuff, you know, playing hard, you know, doing a lot of dirty work out there. Um, uh, you know, I'm not worried about him. He'll, he'll come into this series, and I'm sure it'll happen in game three. So, You guys are able to do it a few times. What's the challenge of trying to give Ant breaks defensively, um, knowing that sometimes maybe fatigue can play a role in the offensive end? Yeah, I mean, listen, I think, uh, uh, you know, maybe we should have gotten him out the, in the beginning of the fourth. Um you know, I think that's where I can give him a break. But, you know, it's the Western Conference Finals, man. Like, we can't look to hide people or try to take breaks, you know. I don't see Kyrie shying away from a matchup out there. Um, so, you know, it's what you got to do if you want to win. Thanks. Thanks, Chris.